right, YouTubers, so I've got uh, my first Z490 motherboard in. So eventually we can get to our 10th gen build here on the channel. I've got two 10th uh, gen motherboards coming up. Uh, this is the more expensive of the two I bought. I got it from Amazon, as you can tell. And so let's get into it. So I don't know what uh, what all will be different. I haven't got as educated on this as maybe I should be, folks. Obviously, uh, eight to nine gen chips don't work with it. And, uh, to really get the most out of it, you need a uh, K-type chip. And as of Today, there are, uh, I have not seen any other um, motherboards, 400 series, out there that uh, you can get for some of the other chips that aren't K-type. So this is MSI MPG, MPG Z490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. All right, so I decided to get the one with the Wi-Fi, and there you see uh, chipset 490. 10th gen and Optane memory. So uh, definitely check back on the channel as we get uh, more motherboards in. We'll get more uh, CPUs. We'll get more RAM. We're just basically going to get all kinds of crap in on the channel. All right. This is not going to work as good as I thought. So let's go ahead and open it. Actually, sorry. Let's look at the back. I am not, this apartment I am in Hawaii is the worst for these videos, but. So, uh, Core Boost 2X CPU power, 2.5G LAN, so that's a new one for me. Lightning USB 20G, that'll be interesting. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, Audio Boost, Mystic Light. Pre-installed IO shielding. I like that. That's like a big one. Why they always had the cheap, you know, aluminum uh, IO shield, I'll never know. M.2 Frozer, whatever that is. And Airflow Optimize. So this one looks pretty cool. There was a, another one that I thought about getting the Vision. Um, that one looked really awesome. So, you guys are probably wondering, what CPU did Dave Noble get? Let's uh, put that aside for now. What else is in the box? Usual stuff. So, there's our little uh, MSI uh, emblem. MSI disc, which uh, this reminds me of why did I come here without my Blu-ray DVD CD player. It was a mistake. Um, same same stuff as usual. Okay, so there are actually uh, SATA cable label, labels. That's interesting. You guys ever seen that before? Um, you know, I've bought a lot of motherboards. This may be the most expensive one I've bought. Um, let's see. So it looks like the mixture of Intel and AMD installation guide. We don't need that. At least we hope we don't. Nice. Uh, MSI does a great job on these books, by the way. MSI, in case you want to sponsor me. I love you guys. Um, it would be very nice. We'd be very happy on the channel to get free MSI motherboards. This is probably... This is really the only page that you really need to know about. Unless, of course, your RAM has to go in a specific way. But this is the most important page. Number, page 5. Alright. Antennas. And uh, two, two SATA 3 cables. Uh, one of them looks a little longer than the other. Uh, and... Two, no, three, wow, three M.2 screws. So when have I ever seen that, folks, that they threw in three? It's usually only two. 
and later you lose one and you're like, where did it go? Right? That's like the worst thing. All right, so we're gonna get into this motherboard. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to fire this thing up. Um, so this is full ATX, and uh, I guess we're gonna just throw it on a deck. Okay, you guys see that? Of course, you cannot see that. So let's uh, let's look at this differently. Let's start in the bottom right. So you see that you've got your normal 2x4 um, PSU power plus you've got an additional 4, okay? So um, computer or the motherboards I bought have either had a 4, N8, or the X570 had uh, this kind of setup where it allowed extreme overclocking. I would assume this guy is set up to do extreme overclocking as well. Um, there is your uh, LGA 11, or excuse me, 1200 um, socket there. And uh, obviously the uh, looks a little different, folks. Um, I'm not going to open it up until we get the CPU ready to go. Let's rotate here. So bottom right, you see a... Uh, connector for a, a pump pump fan and uh, to the left of that is the uh, first system fan and I'll try and remember to, to say you know for a second there's your uh, this set so this has the easy debug LED right in there okay that is always a good thing how many times I've screwed up and forgot to put the RAM in or some bonehead thing that you would think somebody of my years would not screw up. 24-pin um, power. That's going to obviously come from your uh, PSU. This is, uh, so that's probably for a Type-C Charlie connection, if you happen to have that on your uh, case. Not something that uh, most of the cheap crap I buy has, but, uh, you know, a couple of cases I bought does have had that. Um, before we move on, there is your uh, CPU fan. There's only a single on this one, it appears, so that uh, that's kind of a bummer. Obviously, you can get a splitter, but still. So over here, um, you've got, let's see, this t appears to be a USB 3.0. Um, that is the only one, I believe. Looks to be the only one. So if you happen to have four USB 3.0s on your case, um, your SOL, you're only going to get to use two of those. Unless there's a splitter out there, but I don't think there is. Uh, I could be wrong. Somebody please educate me if I'm wrong. Here's your... Uh, there is four of the... Uh, let's lift this up a second. Four of your six SATA threes, okay. Over here, second system fan appears to be a third system fan. All right, so this is pretty good for that, even though if you're like me, you use Molex pretty much exclusively. Um, so I'm going to pick this up, I think, as I can't see anything. side of the bed all right so jfp1 right here so this is going to be where your uh we said page five in the manual this is where it's all at folks uh case connectors you know as far as getting the computer to work uh, of course you can use a flathead and and touch it to these two after you hook up a, a psu but uh you know as far as the case powering it up this is where it's at, okay? A lot of these other connections, you don't need to get it to boot to BIOS. Um, I don't know what these other connectors are here, folks, so um, hopefully we'll check back. Here's the other two SATAs. Now, USB, here's your two USB 2.0s, and that one. J 
JRainbow1, JT1, another system fan. So we're up to uh, four and five. Wow, this has a lot of system fans on this motherboard. HD audio is right here. Okay. And now let's talk about uh, what we have for um, our PCI Express slots. All right, so though I realize that some of the, uh, I believe some of the Z490s will be uh, PCI Express 4.0, yours truly did not go overboard on spending because frankly, Nvidia's uh, GPUs are better than what AMD's putting out, so it's almost pointless. Uh, so at the top, we have uh, PCI Express 3.0 times uh, 16. That is your, uh, that's the armor plated one there, right? And uh, the second one is uh, the X4 from uh, PCH. Um, and then you have two, one, two, PCI Express times one slots, okay? So there is that. Now, did we skip over the RAM? So RAM, um, just so you can see it, this supports, and this was one thing I was wondering about. I, I figured it would support like, uh, you know, the 2666, maybe the 2400. Um, I'm gonna show you what it shows in the manual, okay? So 4X DDR4 RAM slots supports up to 128 gigs. And then you see uh, speeds up to 4,800, 4,266, 4,400, 4,000. Okay. And then there is uh, 2133, 2666. Okay, set. Uh, I didn't say that right. 2133, 2666, 2933 megahertz. So that's like the base, the base speeds, right, before you, you boost them up um, in your XMP, right, your extreme memory profile. So... Um, there you go. That's the deal there. So if you're shopping for RAM, obviously you can go buy some really expensive stuff. Uh, but now you know you can get away with some of the cheaper RAM out there to make this work, it would appear. Alright. We've got uh, your CMOS battery here. And uh, I always say this in every video. In case you screw something up in BIOS, which uh, we've all done if you do this long enough, you will... Uh, need to pull that out sometimes to reset the BIOS. Now, things that I did not note, let's uh, let's find out what this guy is over here, okay? We don't know what those are. All right, so I can't tell you that I'm still gonna know what these are, but uh, the top one there, that is uh, right there, that's your JRTD3, and the one below it, right there, that is the JTBT1. So I'll have to do some research. Uh, if I remember, I'll put notes on there what that is exactly. Uh, let's see. So the only thing left to check out, folks, are your uh, I.O. Uh, connectors here. So let's go in here and take a look. So you got your standard PS2 stuff, the old style USB 2.0s. Looks like DisplayPort. HDMI, Type-C, I think this is uh, Gen 3.2 USB, 4 USB 3.0s, Ethernet, here's your Wi-Fi connection, and then over here, uh, this is for your, uh, your optical fiber optic, you know, if you want to hook this up to a stereo, which I would love to do, I wish I had a stereo in here, and then the other ones... All right, so we're gonna do this ass backwards. Top right is your line in, side speaker out. The one below that in red is your line out, front speaker out. The very bottom of that right row is a mic in. And then on the, uh, the left row, very top is center subwoofer out. Right underneath that, is the rear speaker out and there you go folks that's what you get so i'm gonna do some flyovers i know you guys love those 
That's why I come back to this channel. That's why I get all the support. Why I am well on my way to becoming wealthy. Um, yep. So this is the best motherboard I think I've ever bought. Well, that's not true. Um, but I've bought some really awesome ones used. But uh, there you go. Look at that IO shield built in. That is That was worth the money right there. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.